actually. Uh, you know, I was waiting for this moment for a long time. You know, 18 months. I fought four times in the last 18 months. That's a lot. But that's uh, I did that because I wanted to feel, you know, fight weeks again. And uh, you know, all the the media win and fight is gonna be amazing. Is that something you're looking forward to? Is staying active and fighting that many times a year? Sure, sure. You know what? Uh, I'm 32 years old now, but I'm still young in the sport. You know, I'm gonna fight a guy who's 40 years old, still top of his game. So uh, I want to stay active. And uh, like I said, uh, like I said in the press conference, I took less time between fights, and I think that I, it's, it's better for me because uh, I gain weight ex easily. <laughs> Patrick, you talked about the particular challenges of replicating Kung Lee's unorthodox style in training camp. Was there one particular aspect of it that proved to be the most challenging to replicate? Oh, it's all around. You know, he's he, he's one of a kind. He's doing something that nobody's doing in, in the in the cage. Uh, he's very agile with his legs, very fast, very powerful. So uh, every time he's gonna he's gonna hit me, I have to answer right away. I have to finish with the last pawn of the exchange all the time, and that's why we we train a lot. We train in the cage. What about his body attack? And do you feel like you you've been in with an opponent that is uh, you know anywhere near that level of uh, uh, proficient with the body attack? Uh, you know, I'm from I'm from boxing, and every time you fought uh, against a softball guy, the body's right there. You know, especially with a big cross and something like that. So, and uh, you fought against softball, you have to you have to know that the body is very open. Uh, so I'm very aware of that. You know, I, I, it's not a problem for me to fight a softball guy. The problem for me was that just about his thigh, and I did. What was it like to get the call to return to the UFC? Oh, that was pretty good. You know, that was uh, right in the middle of the day, and uh, you know. I had, a, I had a pretty bad training at this day, so he might have called me. Uh, he said, uh, my, my manager told me that I have a bit of good news, so I was I was pretty happy. I didn't expect to have a big fight like that right away. I hope they're probably the biggest card of the year, but uh, you know, I'm ready to go. I'm so happy to be back. You wrote a four fight win streak coming into this fight. How confident does that get you uh, coming into this? I'm pretty confident, uh, especially uh, you know with the, the poor fights. It's good, uh, the, the the streak is good. But about all all general my training, I change a lot of things. I change trainers. I'm still with Brittany Candle, the Fabiola, but I have a new wrestling tra wrestling trainer. I have a new Muay Thai trainer, and uh, they change a lot of my my training. And uh, like I said, I'm doing now what I should do maybe three or four years ago. Uh, it's never too late. I'm here now. You play your new out against Silva. Would you like to get that fight again sometime in the future? Uh, you know, I have nothing against Anderson Silva. I, I, I want another title fight for sure. Uh, if he's there, if that same is gonna is there as a champion, I'm gonna fight him. But you know, the, my main concern is to have another run at title, have a title fight. I have nothing against Anderson Silva. I think he's an awesome athlete, super fighter, probably the best in the world, best in history. And uh, and that's it. You know, but I don't. Right now, I'm all my focus on Kang Lee. You know, I'm, I have my hands full, and I have to give my uh, my A game now. You said you started working with a new wrestling coach. Do you plan on taking this fight to the ground at all, or is this going to be a stand-up drag-out review? You know, I, I'm more well-rounded than I was before. If if I want to take the fight on the ground, I know I have a, the option now. Uh, before, you know, I you know I was more a striker and a more brawler, sprawling ball. I think now I'm more like mixed martial artist. Uh, you know, I, I took care of my weakness. It's not perfect yet, but you know, it's way better than when I fought my last fight in the UFC, and um, you know, I'm ten times better than when I fought the UFC 121. And I can't wait to show that Saturday. Uh, Kung Lee has a lot of unique sweeps that you don't really see a lot in the UFC. Did you bring in anybody to specifically train for that aspect of the takedown? Yeah, but like I said, I brought some good uh, Muay Thai, good uh, Sapo kicker. Uh, there, we, we did a lot of video session too about Kong Lee because I think it's. Uh, I'm a big fan of that, but especially against Kong Lee, we did a we did a lot of video session because he has a, like a unique style. But you know what? If I put pressure and he's covering himself, he's not gonna have time to sweep me. No, I love that. You know, I want to talk about pressure. Uh, I did my first fight in the main event UFC 50. That's pressure. Now I'm just enjoying the moment. <laughs> but I'm from I'm from more boxing. I'm a striker, so I the fight start on the feet. I'm very confident about my, my striking. I ain't scared of anybody on my feet. I don't want any fight around. And uh, I'm looking to, to knock him out. But if the submission is there, I'll take it. Do you get, got any help from the Brazilian tactic from Rio de Janeiro? Oh uh, yeah, I trained with uh, Bustamante and uh, Ursula Polares uh, when I was there, and uh, yeah, that was that was amazing. Those guys are really really high level fighter, and they, they did help me a lot.
I learned that if you give space to Connolly, he's gonna look bad. You know, he's gonna do all his tricks, a spinning back, a spinning back fist. If you give him time to uh, install his game and take the pace of the fight, you're in big trouble. I think as soon as Andre Silva put pressure on Connolly, Connolly was in trouble. You know, you know that's no secret for anybody. I didn't hide my game plan. You know, I stay, I, I say it, and I'm gonna say it again. I'm gonna push the pace, stay in the pocket, and exchange with him on my feet. Now you talk about pushing the pace and keeping pressure. Are you going to really concentrate on that dirty boxing aspect of this fight, or are you just going to just stay in the pocket and be at the end of your range? You know, I'm very good inside. I have a good body shot, good left hook. You know, everybody know I have a, bit, a good, good uh, right hand. But now that's a problem. Everybody knows it. So yeah, I have to do something else to place, to place my my right hand. But yeah, I'm, you know what? I'm going there. It's gonna be a good scrap. But uh, I don't plan to to go there and exchange toe to toe in the war and just. Just, just exchange and give a good, a good fight, a good, a good, a good show. I'm gonna good, be that good of a good show, but by my style, I'm, I'm think I'm a technical striker and I'm gonna show that. Sorry. TRT. Oh, TRT. TRT. You know, I have, a, you know, I, I don't say I'm, I'm okay with that, but you have to understand that even if you take anything, you take anything you want, it's not gonna give you skills. It's gonna give you maybe endurance for the fourth and the fifth round. But if you take a Chao Sonnen, you know, he dropped Anderson Silva four times in the first three rounds. That's not TRT, that's skills. And that, you know, any steroids not, never get any of your skills. But in the other aspect, if both guys are the same level, for sure the guy's gonna take it, it's gonna have a little bit advantage uh, if the fight's going a little bit longer. You know, I'm, I don't take it. I, I, I don't see why I will have to take it. But you know what, if Chelsea had said if he's not taking it, he's gonna die. You know, uh, who I am to uh, judge uh, if it's true or not. You know, I know I'm clean, I know what I'm doing. I just have to go there and win fight, that's it.